Hello everyone. Hope that you all are having a really great week. I can't believe we're in week seven already. It's gone by really, really fast. But anyway, today I'm gonna tell you guys about my favorite restaurant and also about my favorite dish that I like to cook. So firstly, my favorite restaurant is a Thai restaurant in Naples. It's called Thai Udon and they cook really, really delicious Asian food, Thai food, and they also have sushi. Now, I'm not a huge fan of sushi, but my parents have tried it and they said it's really good. So I really like their curry. There are several types of curry. You can get red curry, green curry. Um, I like the mango curry because it's sweet. Some of them are sweet and some of them are savory. And so you can get any, in each of these curries, you can get any kind of meat you want. And then they have a set of different vegetables that they put in the curry and then you add your rice to it. So the curry itself is like, it's not a gravy, that's not the right word. It's like a sauce, almost like a soup sauce. So when you put the veggies and the meat and the rice in, it soaks up and the flavors go all through the whole dish. It's really amazing. So that's my favorite restaurant right now. Um, and then my favorite thing that I like to cook at home is a Eastern European dish. It's called chicken paprikash. And it originally goes with bread dumplings, but I won't get into that because it's a little complex. I like the chicken and rice part. But um, so how you cook it is you take a large baking pan and you saute about an onion, one and a half sometimes, it depends on how much chicken I'm making, with butter. You saute the onion with butter and when the onion is almost done cooking, then you're gonna take your chicken pieces. Um, it's, the, it's best to use thighs and breasts. Um, when you're using chicken pieces for this recipe. So make sure the skin is off the chicken, but leave the bones in because it helps to, to make the flavor even better. So you're gonna sear the chicken pieces. So you're gonna cook them until the outsides all the way around are white. And while you're cooking them this way, you're gonna season them. You're gonna add salt and pepper, and then you're gonna add paprika, which is for flavor and color. And then you're also gonna add um, red pepper flakes. So that makes it spicy. Um, you can make it less spicy or more spicy. I prefer to make it more spicy. But that's going to be the main seasoning. It's it's those four and then you've got the, the onion flavor that's really good in there with the chicken. So once the chicken is done cooking that way, you're going to put a little liquid in the bottom so it doesn't stick to the pan and you're going to bake the chicken in the oven for about 20 minutes. And that will finish cooking the chicken most of the way. Um, one, when you're done cooking the chicken, you're going to leave it in the pan. And you're also going to add some chicken stock. Because what you're going to do next is you're going to cook the rice in the chicken pan with the chicken. So it's kind of like a double bake for the chicken. But the chicken, the second time it's cooking, it's surrounded by rice and chicken broth. So it kind of slow cooks it and makes sure that it stays tender. Um, this dish is really good because the onion and all the seasonings from the chicken get put on the rice as well. And what I like to do is you can, you can layer your favorite cheese in with the rice when you serve it. It's really good. Or you can put grated Parmesan cheese on top of the rice. Both, both ways are really good. I like to layer my rice with Swiss cheese um, in between. But yeah, so that's my favorite dish to cook. I'm looking forward to seeing some of your guys. And uh, yeah, have a great week.